Mm. Why knows, why knows, why my baby mama trip, she been going through my phone Tired of me cheating, I can't leave these hoes alone Hella pics, hella tips on my cash out, cash out. It's like hold up a minute Y'all in the battle, y'all battling on it, you know what I'm saying? What up though, y'all? Dig, real quick Like, yeah, uh, I'm not sure if I'm the only one of the YouTubers that talk to Al New we got about two hours worth of conversation or whatever, right? Facts. I did not record it all, although he wanted me to. I did record parts of the conversation that he, he wanted me to record. All together, I probably recorded about like 30 or 40 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a little bit more out of the two and a half hours we was on the phone. And uh, I couldn't put everything that I recorded out in this entirety. That's not to say he he spoke to me in a very honest way. So some of that honesty deserved to stay where it's at. You know what I'm saying? And then not only that, I'm not into uh, exposing people or getting people in any kind of trouble at all. You know what I'm saying? Now, if something you did is exposed in, a, in, in, in the obvious facts, then, then I got to deal with that. That's what that is. But... There are things I don't agree with Nuke on, but y'all know I'm going to always be fair to everybody. So I did get his complete side of the story. You know what I'm saying? I um, There's some things I agree with him on, you know? So it's not like a, a fuck out Nuke thing over here at Wano's World. It's not that. It's not that at all. You know what I'm saying? And, well, you're going to check the interview out real soon. You'll see what I did and did not agree with on. And uh, well, it wasn't really an interview. He said he's going to pop through and do an interview when he gets some time or when he in the city or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whenever it line up like that. And that's that. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, I see there's a lot of other stuff going on as far as uh, how people feel about the Detroit YouTubers being YouTubers. And it's like, yo. I said this before, I'm going to say it again. Them dudes in California probably busting somewhere between three and five million in ad revenue. When you talk about Mav Hoffa, Lord Jamar, New York over there, they're probably bringing in a million. When you talk about Dallas, Say Cheese, Boss Talk, all of them together. And when I say this, I'm just talking about the general money that's being spent in that area with these specific YouTubers or content creators. Like Detroit has always had its own media. We haven't as of late. When a Detroit artist wants to do an interview or on the come up, he got to go jump through hoops to get on one of these other platforms. Why shouldn't we build ours? And what a lot of y'all are looking past is Detroiters are not just famous to Detroiters. And because we're so famous to ourselves, we take that with us everywhere. So people in these other states have heard every Detroit person they know say some of these names for god knows how long and which you guys obviously don't know because most of you guys live on instagram which is respectable in this social media world everybody got the block they hang on and some people hang on all the blocks some people just hang on facebook but they know about instagram and youtube some people just hang on instagram but they know about facebook and youtube some people on that youtube street baby you know what i'm saying and some of us, because once you're a YouTuber, you got to be on all the other blocks. You got to be on all the other blocks. And that's a place where Wano was messing up at because I wasn't on all the other blocks. Now, that's one thing Al Newt got mad at me when I called it the YouTube streets. You know what I'm saying? But just because you don't understand it is not something that does not mean it's something that shouldn't be respected. Now, back to my story about these stories. People from other states, do you know? Do you know a dude from Texas? Got a story about Wipeout? Do you know a dude from, I don't know where he from, did the Blade Icewood story, some of the information right, some of it's not? Shit, fuck it. I'm going to throw myself in the grease. Do you know I, me, Wano, reached out to talk to Eric Holder? I did that. That was me. Like, this is what we do. None of us would have, how can I say this? None of us are in this to make the city look bad, bro. Did you see how a bunch of niggas that don't even we that don't even know each other, never met in the same room, never had a conversation, came together to make sure 
nobody got that that no 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 jumper or Cam Capone or none of them people that would have paid Jesse a hot thousand fifteen hundred for him to come light the city on fire and make wild accusations. We did that. We did that. We sucked the life out that story real fast because it could have got bigger. Somebody else could have tried to interview Jesse after he did what he did. We stopped that. Like, this is the problem. This is the problem with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get you a house and you, you know, it's a it's a thing that comes from the roof down to your grass. When you pull up to your house, you don't know what it do. It don't look that good to you. You know what I'm saying? You wish you could paint it a different color. You wish it wasn't so shiny. It just, your house looked perfect. And this thing, it's like the white on it is a little brighter than everything else. Like it wasn't painted with everything else. You know what I'm saying? So one day, you takes the, you just takes it off, snatches it down. It comes out real easy. No big deal, right? Then you get into the rainy season. And you realize that was a part of your gutter system. That was the drainage for your gutter system. And now you got water coming out that spout up there going every goddamn where. When it used to, you used to not even notice it because that piece was there maintaining the flow of that water to come down and run along the side of your driveway down into the sewer. And that's the problem. Motherfuckers don't know how necessary some shit is until they need it. So is Wano responding to the pressure? No. No. I'm not wet clothes. You can't press me. Not only that, what you need to understand about us YouTubers is it's not like a TV show. It's not like music. People pick us and fuck with us and subscribe and listen to us because they fuck with our point of view the same way the people that I watch on YouTube. So if when they took Doggy Diamonds page down, I didn't stop listening to Doggy Diamonds. I went and found where he was somewhere else. And what y'all need to know about getting these content creative pages took, what you're really doing is helping the white man because they don't take their content down. The content is still there, and all you doing is making it so the nigga don't get his percentage from the ads. But the ads is still going to be on the content because they're going to still be selling it. And another thing, when you take down a YouTuber, you can't kill a YouTuber, bro. Kevin Samuels died in some pussy over three years ago. He's still one of the biggest YouTubers. Explain that. Explain that. Please tell me. You can't. Because if somebody fuck with your point of view, your content is going to be evergreen. Like people talk about like me doing the Jesse James story and stuff like that. That ain't really nothing right now. It has more views. But when you go through my content, I got all kind of jewels and diamonds in there, all kind of rubies and emeralds. That's going to be evergreen content, bro. And quite frankly, I'm already set up. This was a little bit of an experiment in building my audience and fixing my position in the city. I could bring myself, my mother, the mothers of my kids, and start my own motherfucking broadcasting company. Facts. You know, I may not ride Maybach and all this other shit you niggas wasting your dollars on, but please believe Wano can at least do that. And I hope somebody would. I, I hope I, that's not something I build out of spite and something I just build because that's the plan. But please believe I build it out of spite if I got to. And that's how I got the name Wano. You don't want me feeling like I've been slighted for no goddamn reason. You know what I'm saying? I jump out a different type of window. A whole different type of window. Some of y'all go to the third floor and jump out the window. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all go to the you know, and jump out the window. Nigga, I'm going to go to the top of the roof. And then I'm going to jump out the window. And I'm going to hit every floor on my fucking way down. Know that. Know that. But anyways, I don't have an issue with anybody. But I'm actually in real life. You know what I'm saying? And the city fucks with me. So when they see certain things, 
fuck a phone call, fuck a direct message. They walk up on me. They know where to catch me at. I'm Dusty McFly. I'm out here. 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 We got some real niggas in the car. Let's have a real nigga seminar. You know, I'm out here. So people don't understand certain things. And I got to keep what I put out as good as I can. Not upgrading from doing things on my phone to using all this equipment I bought over the past year or so. It's putting a little slowness on the things I can do. You know what I'm saying? I get where Al Nuke was coming from. He talked to me on Monday. That video ain't came out yet. But he don't understand where I'm coming from as a YouTuber. Like this shit is like the ocean. Right now the tide is flowing this way. And later on the night, we about to push it back that way. And that's how everybody get their they circulation. That's how everybody gets they gets they shine, get their turn, get their shine. Now, I'm not taking a side in none of this. I everybody know I stand up for the city. And really, I'm standing up for the state. So the number one thing about all this is it ain't about to be no division between Detroit and the surrounding areas. We're not doing the MC Breed again. We're not. Everybody, some of y'all are too young to know MC Breed was number one in America, and we didn't back him up. We did not back him up. It was, oh, that nigga ain't from Detroit and a whole bunch of bullshit. And it should have never been like that. We should have backed him up. It didn't matter that he was from Detroit. He was from right down the street. And him being on shined a light on Michigan. But instead of us doing that, we didn't. And that shined a light on Atlanta because that's where the fuck MC Breed left here and went when he realized the state wasn't supporting him. And if you listen to all the Atlanta rapper stories, the earlier ones, all of them got an MC Breed story. So the same way MC Breed moved to Atlanta and opened his door and let all them Atlanta dudes use his equipment, his studio, his plugs, his whoop de whoop de wham he could have did that shit here and we could have used it. And damn near everybody that hung out at Breed House got a turn. Check the records. And that's why YouTubers is important, man, because motherfuckers be forgetting shit. On that note, I ain't got nothing but love for everybody. Wano has never been wet clothes. You will not press me. And that go for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the toughest nigga. I'm not the gangster. I'm not none of that. I'm just a nerd that don't be fucking around. That's kind of plainly who I am. I'm cool with everybody. I really like to love people. You know what I'm saying? I like to help people. I like to be there for them. I don't never want to have an issue with nobody. So that means if it's an issue, I'm going to make it a non-issue. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, I got nothing but love and support for everybody. The way to your success is not to knock somebody else's success. The way to your dreams is not to kill somebody else's. The way to stay in your lane is to not worry about this man's lane. You understand? Not cohesively, we all want the same thing for the city. And I think we should get it. I'm out. Why is DTE calling me? <laughs> we out. Hello. What's going on?